On today's Finding Equal Man show, we're super excited because we're going into depth on the number one most popular tip we've ever given on how to unleash and unlock your inner superpower. Hey, it's number one best-selling author and motivational speaker, Eric Qualman. Most of you know me as Equal Man. On today's Finding Equal Man show, we're going into depth on the number one tip we've ever given on this show based on the amount of views and based on the amount of comments that we have received. Now, when I go in depth on this, some of you are gonna do it. Some of you are already practicing this, but most of you are not because guess what? It's a lot of hard work. I love this because it encompasses everything we talk about here. It's all about gratitude, and that's why we're going to talk about Thanksgiving cards. That's right, Thanksgiving cards. It's not the most important thing you're going to do in life, but this thing touches so many facets of what we cover here on the show, in our books, on our podcast, that that's why I love going over it, and that's why I think it's one of the most popular tips. It is the most popular tip we've ever given out. So every year we spend hours and hours and hours writing out personalized Thanksgiving thank you cards to people. We don't send out Christmas cards, we actually send out Thanksgiving cards. Thanksgiving cards is really all about thinking differently and why I love it so much is that when you think about holiday cards is it gets lost in the mail. Everyone is sending a holiday card so you're not standing out. Also too, people are gone on vacation so they might not ever receive it in the office, especially if you have partners or clients at these big companies where it gets lost in that shuffle. The second thing is it's appropriate. You're grateful, it's Thanksgiving. You're giving thanks to these partners, these friends, these family members. It's all around giving thanks. And also you don't have to worry about do they celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas. You don't have to worry about the religious aspect of it because it's a non-religious holiday. Now if you're going to include a gift with that card, we recommend it being personalized. So what does that mean? Sometimes we get out luggage tags with that person's image and name on it. Other times it's we give out a Yeti. Yes, they're based here in Austin, Texas. A Yeti cooler that has our logo, but their name on it, the person's name on it. Or third, if we hand out a Starbucks gift card, it actually has Equal Man and the Equal Man logo on them. In that personal note, go the extra mile. Make it personal, meaning write something specific about that person or something you guys did together. One of the strengths that you can put in there, something that made you happy, that you're grateful for having that person in your life. So I was talking all about making sure you're specific in the handwritten letter, something specific that only is about that person. And then we talk about details. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to succeed? How much do you care to show that you know enough about that other person to develop that relationship? And I'm talking about stamps. I'm literally talking about that level of detail. I'm talking about the postage stamp itself. So if I know that person loves tennis, I actually have a tennis postage stamp that I put on that letter. If they love football, football stamp goes on that letter. I know they love superheroes. There we go, Wonder Woman, boom, right in the upper right hand corner. That's what I'm talking about. We're talking about the details because when you show that, type of detail and that type of personalization that's really showing that other person love. As you know, I'm a big fan of the offline, online. It's the Flintstones, it's the Jetsons. So this next tip is actually very time consuming, but it sets you ahead of the competition. So now you have your Thanksgiving thank you card. So now you're gonna take a picture of that card and you're gonna email it to that person. And here's why. Number one, the number one reason you're taking that picture of that letter is because it could get lost in the mail. God bless, I love the mail system, but sometimes they lose stuff. Second reason you're doing that is because it's allowing them the chance to easily respond. When they get something physical, whether it's a letter, a gift, or both, now the onus is on them to write a thank you note back, which can be overwhelming for them. So you're giving them an easy way to respond so it allows you to communicate with them. So let's say it's a client. It allows you to communicate with them. They get that email picture. They reply and say, thank you so much. I would love to partner in the next year as well. Now you've started that dialogue in an easy manner. The third reason we're taking a picture of that thank you note and emailing it to them, even though we're mailing it in the regular mail, is because they also might share it socially. The other thing we've learned whenever you're writing a thank you note is actually look that person up on LinkedIn because they may have switched positions first and foremost. 
Secondarily, if you don't have their email address, if you're a first connection with them on LinkedIn, you can find their email address. Also, if you aren't a first connection with them, then you can connect with them on LinkedIn. I can't tell you the number of times that if someone that I'm really close to, I go on LinkedIn, I go, oh my gosh, I'm not even connected with this person on LinkedIn. What a lost opportunity. Let me connect with that person. The other reason when you look them up on LinkedIn, it gives you a chance to hit them with a quick endorsement. It takes five seconds just to hit that endorse button. And as you know, we're huge fans here at Equal Man of posting it forward. So just post it forward, just endorse that person for a skill that they have. So I hope you enjoyed us going more in depth on Thanksgiving cards. I know it sounds absurd, but really that's a metaphor for one, how do you work harder than the next person? That's a lot of time, it's hours and hours of time to send out these cards, but it matters, it's personalized, it's developing those relationships. Secondarily, it's thinking differently. It's not sending out that holiday card around Christmas time or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. It's actually sending it when things are more likely to stand out. And third, it's really combining the Jetsons and the Flintstones. It's the offline and the online. So there's so many things that are encompassed in this simple process. And when I say simple, it's simple in theory, but it's hard in terms of rolling up the sleeves and really getting after it. So I think that's why this has resonated with so many of you. That's why we've decided to go deeper on it because so many of you requested us to give more details around the Thanksgiving cards and what we've learned over the years by doing it. That's it for today's Finding Equal Man show, which has been all around Thanksgiving cards and giving thanks. That's what I want to do right now. I want to thank you for all the support over the years as we try to entertain, educate, and empower people to achieve their best life. If you like this episode, please feel free to subscribe. Also tell a friend and please send in your comments because it only helps us help more people, the millions and millions out there. We've been able to reach 25 million people this decade. So send in your comments on what we can cover in order to help you unlock and unleash your inner superpower. So until the next episode, remember, this is not what we take from the world, it's what we leave behind. Well, if everyone, that doesn't seem like, duh. But if everyone knows what they're supposed to do, why don't we do it? The easiest way to get over that mid-semester hump, or I like to call it slump, is to actually mix it up. Well, duh, but if it's a duh moment, it's a e da, 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 da. Should I say, well, duh, well, if it's easy. And then I'll talk about break things up, okay. Another tip for that slump is you need to start looking ahead to your finals or, whoops, let me do that again, who cares? Is that like good with my hair? Is it flipping <laughs> like it should be? Okay. Another cause for the slump is because you're drowsy. <laughs> Remember that emotion, whoops, not emotion. Remember that motion creates emotion and motion creates, Remember that motion creates emotion and emotion creates energy. Got it. Hopefully you find these tips helpful to get you over the mid-semester slump. Slump, slump hump, hump slump.